Coach Kids, Perf Jones, and Crash. And more news coming your way. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm your host, Victor. And I'm Izzy. Seniors, Herb Jones will be visiting next week on Thursday to take your graduation orders. You will need to have a deposit ready when you place your order. FHS students, want to get, want to get into homecoming for free? All you have to do is wear your 19 Sports 1 Team t-shirts. Remember, you must be wearing it and not have it under another shirt, have it hanging around your neck, or carry it in. Today for lunch, lines 1 and 2, quesadilla, lines 3, soup and salad bar featuring California blend soup, line 4, leftovers, and line 5, 4 by 6 pizza. Happy birthday goes out to Yereni Samoya, Alex Santiago, and happy birthday to everyone over the weekend. Now, to sports and weather. Thanks, guys. Last night, the Frankfurt Boys varsity soccer team hosted Twin Lakes in regular season play. The Hot Dogs honored 12 seniors who were playing in their last varsity home game for the Hot Dogs. Twin Lakes then survived the onslaught of shots put up by Frankfurt and defeated the Hot Dogs 2-0. Frankfurt ends the regular season with a record of 8-7-1. The Hot Dogs play Tri-West this Tuesday at Danville in sectional play. Kickoff is at 5. The Frankfurt Boys Junior Varsity Soccer Team defeated Twin Lakes 2-0 yesterday night. The Hot Dogs controlled much of the possession in the match. Scoring for Frankfurt was junior Manny Morales and sophomore Alex Campos. The junior varsity team ends the season with a record of 6-1-2. The team and coaches would like to thank the fans for the support over the entire season, especially on senior night, to honor the seniors of the program one last time. After a slow start, the volleyball team pulled out 3-1 win over the visiting Peru Tigers. The coaches are proud of the way the team rallied from a flat start to the finish a bit match strong. A big thanks again to the Spirited Student section who came out in purple and yellow to support Daniel Olivas. The team travels to Southwood on Saturday for the volley night invite. The tennis season ended Wednesday night as the Dogs lost to Zionsville 0-5. The Hot Dogs represented Frankfurt well all season and the final match in sectionals was no different. The Dogs were competitive and played with good self-discipline and sportsmanship. The team wants to thank all the families and friends to support us through the entire year. Their positive energy and dedication plays a big part in helping the team be successful and getting through the tough times. Good luck to all the hot dog athletic teams who will be competing this weekend, especially to the cross country team who will be competing in conference. Now to weather it was Israel. Thanks guys, weather today is currently 48 degrees this morning. It will be mostly sunny with the high of 65 degrees for today's football homecoming game this evening. Later tonight it will be mostly chilly so might as well Get your best jacket and sweaters. I'm Ms. Angeles Jr. Now on to your host. 24 Crash members collectively offered 55 presentations to Blue Ridge, Green Meadows, and Suncrest on Tuesday for Hispanic Heritage Month. The theme was celebrating our community's Latino culture, including music, food, celebration, and games. The teenagers did a nice job transitioning from being students to being the teachers. Speaking of food and music, if you aren't doing anything this weekend on Saturday, We'll be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with a festival going on at Veterans Park from 4 to 10. There will be great music being played, food, and prizes. The festival will be a good time for kids, friends, and family. So come out and celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Coach Kids is looking for a few good mentors to find their time in their second and third trimesters to meet with elementary students on a weekly basis. Mentors must be juniors and seniors who can find transportation and time for about 15-20 minutes with their student. Applications are now in the guidance office and must be completed and turned in by Friday, October 11th. If you're interested yet unsure, there will be a Coach Kids meeting October 23rd during community. That's all for HDTV. Tune in next time for the latest news and updates. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good weekend, guys. See you at the game.